This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Jamie Schooler with me from the Smith Falls Community Theater. Welcome. Thanks, Kathy. Uh, thanks for having me today. You guys do a great job, by the way. Oh, you know, thank you. you know, thank you. Promoting and um, uh, demonstrating the interest that you do in community activities. It's, it's much appreciated. Well, this is a, this is a great uh, job to have. I love it myself. <laughs> so it's uh, good news, all about good news and good people, yeah. and that's why you're here too. Oh, well, so thanks. we're going to talk about a play that's going on. Uh, it's called Harvey. Can you right. talk a little bit about it? Absolutely. So Harvey uh, was written by uh, Mary Chase. Uh, she was a, a journalist and a playwright uh, from the United States. She wrote the play in 1944 and won the Pulitzer Prize for Literature in 1945. And then the play was uh, turned into a movie in 1950 starring Jimmy Stewart. Uh, so it's been around for a while and um, it's, it's certainly family entertainment. It was written at a time when certain things uh, that we uh, are used to in comedy nowadays perhaps are, were not part of uh, uh, that scene back then. So it's certainly something that's appropriate for the family. All right, can you talk a little bit about the storyline without Absolute, giving it away? <laughs> right, absolutely. So um, the story centers around um, Elwood P. Dowd, who is a, uh, a very unoffensive fellow who lives with his sister and his charming little niece. And you play this part. I play Elwood P., right. And Elwood has had an encounter with a, a puka. Now, a puka is... Um, a, uh, a figure from Celtic mythology that's um, been talked about for, for hundreds of years. In fact, the first time that it might have, maybe not the first time, but one of the first times it was mentioned in literature was by Shakespeare back in the 1500s in a Midsummer's Night Dream. There was a character called Puck, and uh, he, he was a puka. So this puka uh, can be either good or bad, and it uh, is a, a shape changer. It takes the form of a lot of times uh, animals like a horse or uh, um, a donkey or uh, in this case a, a rabbit. So um, Elwood happens to have an encounter with this puka who turns out to be a six foot one and a half inch uh, rabbit, white rabbit, named Harvey. Well, well actually I, I brought Harvey with me uh, today to be part of the interview. Um, Harvey, this is Kathy and uh, what's that? Yes, yes, she looks very nice today, doesn't she? She really does. Welcome, and, Harvey. <laughs> yes. So um, Harvey has befriended Elwood, and they spend a lot of time in the local um, uh, drinking establishments. And uh, you can see Harvey. Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Not everybody can. Many can. And that's part of the plot of the play as to who actually sees Harvey. And uh, as you can imagine, uh, when you're walking around town with an invisible friend and introducing him to people, it it often uh, could lead to some, um, certainly, curiosity. Uh, and um, much to the chagrin of his sister, uh, it leads to a lot of embarrassment. So anyways, I'll leave it there because um, lots of things happen around this concept that uh, make it an entertaining uh, play to watch. Excellent, excellent. So uh, you've been with the theater for a long time. I have had the good fortune to be involved with these uh, folks for Oh my gosh, well over 20 years, I guess. Um, we um, uh, began working as a group on the old um, station uh, back in 2000, I mm -hmm. guess, and it took 10 years to open it. And uh, so the opening officially was 2010. And uh, we opened with no debt, by the way, thanks to the generosity of our local community, the town in particular, uh, Via Rail, and lots of individuals and businesses who contributed. So we've, we've had no debt. It's a beautiful um, setting for a variety of purposes. So if you haven't been in the theater, this is a great opportunity for you to come and, and see the theater itself because it really is a beautiful venue and to, to be entertained by this uh, quite uh, amusing play. I, now, you and I are both lifers of Smith Falls, too. Mm -hmm. We know what the station theater looked like when it was a railway station. Kathy, it had gotten to a point, uh, well, I guess uh, CN had offered it to the town. The town purchased it for a dollar, I think, and um, they offered it to anybody in the town who was interested in repurposing it. So our group picked up on that, and when we opened the doors, it was a disaster. So most of the money that we got, and we did secure three Trillium grants. It was unusual back in those days to get one 
Uh, well, maybe sort of commonplace to get one, but unusual to get more than one. We got three because they liked the project so much. So the, the initial amount of money that was put into the project was just to stabilize the building and make it uh, you know, safe for occupancy. Um, and then the monies that came in after that were uh, to you know, make the inside as attractive as possible. One of the things we did get too, uh, one of our members at that time happened to see an ad from the National Arts Center offering uh, theater seats to any group that wanted them for free. So thanks to Kerry Wills at Wills Transfer, uh, he loaned us a truck. We went down to the Arts Center, picked up about 145 beautiful seats from the National Arts Center uh, for free. And, and those are the wow. seats that you'll sit in when you go. Yeah, my, my best friend uh, used to live on the other side of the foot subway. Yes. Which is right yes. on the other side of uh, what was the, the, the station back then. Right. And her father used to work there. He worked uh, Monday to Friday, 3 to 11, so we used to run over his supper to him. So I yes. was in that building so many right. times. So when I think of what it looks like now, right. based on what it looked like when we used to take Mr. Derbyshire's supper yeah. over to him, you right. know, it, it's amazing. It's amazing the transformation it's made. Well, I can remember as the project was uh, progressing, uh, folks would come in with memories like yours yeah. uh, of, of being uh, in the station when it was a, a vibrant place to be. And I, I guess at one time, it was the place to go on a Sunday afternoon after church. People would go over because there was a, a really good restaurant. Yes. And they would watch the trains come and go. And, and the number of people that we had stopped by who were just interested in watching trains, you know, was, was amazing. I can remember one time having a conversation with a fellow from England who was visiting Canada, some relatives he had in the area, and he spent most of the day there taking pictures of trains coming and going. So, yeah, it's a piece of our history oh, absolutely. that we were able to retain because they would have torn it down and put up a, a glass, uh, you know, station, uh, play, a place where you can wait for the train, bus stop, basically. Um, and, and so, yeah, we've retained that building, which is such an important part of Smith Falls history. I, I just think, you know, geographic or architecturally looking at the building, mm -hmm. what it used to be, and there's a theater in it now. Right. I just think, wow, it fit. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah, fits, it's, you know? it's, a, it's a great, uh, mm -hmm. great venue. It is. It's really good. It's really good. And you've been with the, the theater since they opened. That's right. Many, many plays you've mm -hmm. been in before, too. Right. So this one you're doing is Harvey. Right. And uh, let's talk about the dates when, sure. when it's going to be playing. So it's February 24th is opening night. And it's uh, uh, Friday night, Saturday night, and then Sunday afternoon uh, that weekend. The following weekend, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday evenings, and then we finish off with a Sunday matinee. All right, and tickets are available. You can get tickets online. <clears throat> uh, go to the theater website, uh, or you can get them at special occasions. $22 for adults, $10 for children. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. And it is family friendly? It is family friendly, mm -hmm. that's right. Um, and there are some local folks that have been involved that you'll recognize from previous plays, but we also have some people that come from out of town that are uh, bringing their expertise as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's amateur theater. Uh, none of us are going to Broadway, at least I've, I've accepted that fate for myself, and I'm sure the others would probably agree, but, um, you know, it, it's a lot of fun, and people have put a lot of time into memorizing their lines, and, and um, I think it's it's a, a good way to spend the afternoon or the evening. It, it's amazing the transition you go from one play to the next. It's like, man, I, I, I would have to be, you know, rehearsing for ages, and you guys just get the plays out every few months and R to remember right. the lines and do the sets and everything. Right, and mm -hmm. we're f so fortunate to have people that uh, not only are on stage, you know, but people that are interested in, in doing the sets mm -hmm. and uh, the costumes and whatnot. We've really got a great group of volunteers, so it's it's a lot of fun. Um, and if there's anybody out there that would like to experience this, that's what the place is for. You know, it's for an opportunity for people that have this interest to be able to explore that interest um, and to, uh, you know, um, make friends and uh, it's a bit of a social activity as well so right 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 yeah. well, I, I I need to uh, I know I asked you how long you've been with the theater I, I'm sorry Harvey how long have you been with the theater Did you that, Harvey? oh his involvement goes back hundreds of years hundreds yes. of he's, years he's been acting uh, for a long time oh awesome. yeah, he's a great guy for sure oh well we look forward to seeing him at our station theater thank you for joining us Jamie okay, Schooler Kathy. and Harvey right <laughs> thanks for joining us my pleasure Kathy thank you